Good afternoon. I am Professor Neil Fowler, Dean of Students at the University of Salford. And I would like to warmly welcome you all to the University of Salford graduation ceremony. Now, all those of you who are able, please stand for the entrance of the academic procession. <laughs> I declare this congregation open to present the degrees and an honorary degree of the University of Salford. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Chancellor, Professor Jackie Kay, to make the opening address. Thank you. Your Worships, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to welcome you all to today's graduation ceremony. This year's graduation ceremonies are extra special because they coincide with our 50th anniversary. Over these past 50 years, we've seen many graduates go on to achieve extraordinary success. We are here today to celebrate the achievements of our graduates of 2017, and it's my pleasure to welcome you, graduates of the School of Nursing, Midwifery, Social Work and Social Sciences, and the School of Health Sciences, who will receive your awards today. 
and I would like to warmly welcome your family and friends. Hello, family. <laughs> Hello, friends. Oh, there's some friends out there, not that many. Hello, friends. <laughs> Your time at the university is a pivotal moment in your life. It's a time when you shape your views in the world, when you learn about yourself, when you develop skills and knowledge, when you create memories and lifelong friends. What a brilliant thing, a degree. What a fine accomplishment. Today is simultaneously the beginning and the end of your magnificent journey. Today is what I would call a double day. Today is one of those days for whom Zora Neale Hurston, the wonderful African-American writer, would have said the present was an egg laid by the past that had the future inside its shell. Get your head around that. <laughs> Perhaps, like many of you, I was the first in my family to go to university. I was from an ordinary working-class family, Scottish family. Can you hear that I'm Scottish? Yes, who were the over the moon to support me through university. If you had told me that one day I'd be standing here as Chancellor of the University of Salford and that I would have become the National Poet of Scotland last year. <laughs> Ooh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. The National Poet of Scotland, a.k.a. the Macker. In fact, it's been funny being going about the place, going out in a boot in Scotland. And uh, I, was, <laughs> I was on a, a ferry uh, the other day in Benbecula, and the man helping me with my bags onto the ferry to Harris said to me, am I right in thinking that you're the macker? I said, I am the macker. <laughs> Made me feel like I should have some sort of special powers. But, but I was um, adopted and brought up in, in Glasgow, and when I was made national poet, by, I had to address the, the opening of the Scottish Parliament in front of the Queen and my mum and dad who adopted me, and my, my mum said to me, who would have ever thought that that wee baby we brought home in a basket would one day grow up to be the national poet? And it is a strange thing, nobody really thinks um, that you're going to grow up to be a national poet. I mean, there's only been three mackers, but, um, but it is a really strange thing when you have dreams and you have dreams and it's very important in our lives that we look to people and we follow some of our dreams and life deals us very different kinds of cards. Uh, life can be full of strange surprises and sometimes you can fall into something. I actually fell into writing because I had a, an accident. I was a runner. So I was a, a Scottish schoolgirl championship runner. You wouldn't necessarily think it. <laughs> Thank you very much. But, um, and, uh, and you wouldn't necessarily think it to look at me. And um, I used to train five days a week. And then one day I had a terrible accident on my Honda 50. And uh, I, I hit three cars all together and flew over the first car, and rolled along a hundred, couple of hundred yards and landed outside a graveyard. My mum said, we could have just thrown you over the wall. <laughs> But anyway, that meant that I was laid up for a year and a half, and, um, and I, I, I started writing quite seriously then. So it's often a strange thing about these forks in the roads that we take. Often when things seem like they're a bad thing, and, and they are, and they, and they can be bad, they, there can be something wonderful in them. That we've lived through in this last year a terribly turbulent, tragic-filled, and terror-filled year where having faith and hope in a future seems ever more challenging. And yet, when the terrible thing happens, when the fire erupts and the bombs go off, what we're often most touched by is the knowledge that people communally must make a difference. We could call that a collective kindness. It's even more important that we draw upon not just our specialisms and expertise, but on our empathy and our kindness, our fantastic human ability to step outside our own shoes and imagine somebody else's life. Let us never ever forget to hope. Let us not forget to be inspired. As Martin Luther King famously put it, faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. It is an incredible honor and it is humbling to be part of this special milestone event alongside all of you who've worked 
so, so very hard to get here. And it's an incredible honor to be conferring an honorary doctorate of Doctor of Science to Nikki Burrow later, later on. I hope that your time at Salford has been even more special and will become even more special as the years go on and you get a chance to look back at it. For many of us, um, some of the, the, the other people in the audience who went to university perhaps some time ago, that looking back can become even more treasured and precious. And for those who didn't get a chance to go to university, we imagine what that must be, be like. And for those who are mature students coming here to get their, honor, their, their degrees and their PhDs, it is also a, a huge and fantastic accomplishment because you're having to juggle your life, juggle all of these different sides to yourself. As individual students, you'll have seen great successes over the years. And as a university, we've accomplished many things to be proud of. We jumped 19 places. Woo! <laughs> in the Times Higher Education ex Experience Study, and we're committed to making our university a world-class place to study. Over the past years, you've watched our campus embark on its transformation into a vibrant and exciting green environment. Almost 5,500 new undergraduates began their degrees with us last September. But today is about you, students of the School of Health Sciences, School of Nursing, Midwifery, Social Work, and Social Sciences who are graduating in this ceremony. Quite hard to say that if you'd had a drink. So just, you know, I had to say no to the wine today at lunchtime. The School of Nursing, Midwifery, Social Work, and Social Sciences, Peter Pricer picked a piece of thicker fiber, is at the forefront of advancing care for living with dementia. And in May, we took another great step forward to, to opening our new dementia hub. The facility opened with a ceremony with Christopher Eccleston, which aims to be an outreach center for the public to access research. Researchers within this school are playing a new re lead role in a task force launched by the city mayor, which seeks to tackle poverty. So you can see that across our university, we're doing extraordinary, extraordinary work in all sorts of different areas. And it's been my huge privilege uh, and pleasure as chancellor to meet people across different disciplines and to meet all of the different staff who actually give their all towards their students. It's an incredible thing to, to treasure your teachers and probably all of us remember either from school or from university, teachers who've made a massive difference. I had wonderful English teachers that I'm still in touch with today, both at school and at university. I even remember my old sewing teacher, Mrs. Tullett. She turned up the other day in a book signing queue in Waterstones in Gla Glasgow, and she said to me, you never could sew, Jacqueline. <laughs> I was a bit scared. <laughs> I said, no, Mrs. Tullett, but I can write. She said, that you can, dear, sign here. <laughs> the dynamic never actually changes. I'm going to have to take my hat off because it keeps wobbling about in my head. Thank you. I don't know why I bothered doing my hair this morning. It's a complete waste of time. <laughs> um, but it's been a, a fascinating journey, the, the business of coming to university and getting your degree and being at the beginning and the simultaneous end of your journey. You feel a mixture of sadness for one part of your life that has ended and a mixture of total apprehension, nerves, anxiety, and also excitement at the part of your life that is just going about to begin. And gradua graduation ceremonies do this for us. They do both for us, and that's why we enjoy them so much. That's why all of you today are out there with your shining, clever faces, looking um, apprehensive and excited about coming up to receive your degree. I'd ask all of you to take your time receiving your degree and look into the eyes of each and every one of you, and I'm really delighted um, to, to be here. I'm delighted to see such a mixture of faces. You probably can hear that I'm Scottish. What you maybe can't hear is that I'm also half Nigerian. Can anyone here hear that I'm Nigerian in my accent? <laughs> in fact, I found my, I traced my original father and found him in Nigeria, which is quite something. And he's a, a leading ethnobotanist. He's a world tree specialist. So that seemed really bizarre that there was me tracing my family tree. <laughs> it's, it's the kind of thing that if you put it in a novel, nobody would believe you. They say, that's far too far-fetched. Um, 
But when I got to Nigeria, he didn't want to tell the rest of his family about me. He wanted to keep me secret. He said, if people were to know about you, they would lose their faith in God. <laughs> I said, heavens, I hadn't realized I was that powerful. <laughs> Imagine a world where people suddenly stop. Anyway, I'm going to stop there and, um, and, and say that before, um, before I finish, that I think that this support that you've had from your academic staff deserves recognition. So, graduates, I would please ask you to stand and give them a round of applause for all the people here and elsewhere who have encouraged you and helped you on your journey. I'd like you to keep on applauding for all of your family and all of your friends that have helped you on your journey. Yay! Yes, you can give them the very best. Woo! Woo! <laughs> um, when you receive your degree, those that want to receive it seriously can. Those families that want to whoop and holler can. We want this to be a day of intense joy and celebration. We want you to completely enjoy yourself, to go yay, or whatever way that you do of enjoying yourself to do. We dance across the floor. The stage is yours to enjoy yourself. Have, have a seat again for a couple of seconds because I'm going to uh, go on for a tiny little bit longer. So I would like to add my own personal note of thanks to your families and friends who in some cases have traveled huge distances to be with us today. Thank you very much um, on behalf of this whole university for coming and for supporting our students and allowing them to get to this day. Thank you um, from all of us. I would like you to be very, very proud of what you've achieved and I'd like you to think about your future as something where you can go on and achieve more. Be inspired by the people that you're inspired by. Keep on reaching for the stars. Keep on stretching for the goal. Regret can sour the years. There's nothing, never anything worse than looking back and saying, I wish I'd done that and I wish I'd done this. So in the meantime, if we try our absolute best, if we do everything that we can do, then at least we know we've done our bit to try and secure some of our future. What happens in this political world and in the rest of the world is not necessarily our fault <laughs> or our business. And it is a very difficult world out there for us to be making our way into and particularly for young people. But when a crack in the door opens, walk through it, dare to be your unique self. Remember as Sojourner Truth had it, the mind, it is the mind that makes the body. I'll finish by reading a poem I wrote specially for the special people who evolved from being graduates to graduates, our students. Let curiosity lead you in many fascinating directions to new discovery. Let your care and social sense your empathy and your excellence, your instinct and your intuition, your creative flair and blossoming talent take you far. Let the world welcome its new stars. Dear graduates, today is the day you switch from graduand to graduate. A couple of hours will have conferred your state, a name that's been three years more in the making and most especially if you started late. How the years, they seem to hover, rush, hesitate. Yet here you are, nearly graduates, congrats, well done, about to cross over to ample hours, fertile land, to stride the borders, corridors, to the shy unknown, and grasp the future with two bold hands. Today's minutes will be remembered, intimately known, where the future's clock is not yet set to run, how the mirrors will turn into windows open to the sun, or what shape days might proffer close at hand. Let them offer luck and chance, dear graduates. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it now gives me great pleasure to invite our Chancellor, Professor
Professor Jackie Kay to present an honorary degree on behalf of the university. It's my great pleasure to present an honorary degree, Doctor of Science Honoris Causa to Nikki Burrow. Chancellor, distinguished guests, Salford graduands, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce you today to Mr. Nicky Burrell. I'm honored to have been asked to present this oration. When the university considers the award of honorary degrees, it seeks individuals who are not only preeminent in their field, but who also reflect the values that are important to us at the University of Salford. These individuals have pushed the boundaries of their chosen field and their work has benefited society most widely. Today we seek to honor just such an individual, someone who has played an outstanding role in promoting Paralympic sport at both the national and international level, and who stands as a role model for athletes and non-athletes alike. It can be said of only a small number of people that they achieve excellence in their chosen field. Few dominate to the extent that Nikki Burrell has in the sport of sailing. Nicky was born in 1986 in Manchester. At the age of seven, his parents purchased a boat for him and his brother Christian. From learning the skills of sailing at Budworth and Winsford Flash Sailing Club, they would spend every weekend sailing around the country and competing in events. At the junior level, sailing with his brother, they won the European Under-16 title in 2000. Recognition of their outstanding talent was further achieved in 2002, when they were selected for the British team in the 420 class. They then moved into the youth category, qualifying to represent Team GB at the World Championships in France in 2005. Whilst at the University of Salford studying in the Salford Business School, they competed at the World Championships, finishing mid-fleet. Afterwards, Nicky spent two years competing in the 470 Olympic class, combining this with his studies. After graduating with a BSc Honours in Business and Management Studies in 2007, there came the chance to become a full-time member of the British sailing team. The journey to becoming an elite successful sports person is incredibly complex. If we could bottle a single characteristic that defines an elite sports person, then our academic and professional careers would probably be in jeopardy. Thankfully, no such single characteristic has been identified so far. What defines the elite sports person is their ability to respond to an incredible choreography of personal skills and attributes, allied to the work of their support teams and scientists. Nikki's success clearly demonstrates how this vast array of information and expertise can be focused into world-leading performance. Such a determination and focus is consistently displayed in the world's leading athletes, and is summed up perfectly in a quote by Nikki, taken from Yachting World in 2012, Simply stated, he was asked, what is your pet hate? His answer, losing. Nicky competed in, the first in his first Paralympic Games in 2008 in Beijing. With new part partner Alexander Rickham, he finished fifth in the SKUD 18 class. Both were determined to do better in the next Olympic cycle. Indeed, Nicky has reflected that failing to make the podium in Beijing rates as the worst moment of his sailing career. To recover from such disappointment and respond with ever greater performance is a further mark of world leading athletes. A measure of this determination was clear when Nikki and Alexandra won every world title between 2009 and 2012, adding a further crown in 2013. Indeed, Nikki believes that achieving this first world title is the best moment in his sailing career. After training for a further four years, Nikki and Alexandra had the opportunity to compete for home games, London 2012. In the SKUD 18 class, Nikki and Alexandra won bronze, and I am sure we all recall with the sense of national pride in both the games and also the amazing achievements of our athletes. Despite this success, the bronze medal was not enough for the team, and they strive to push further in pursuit of another Olympic medal at Rio 2016. Four years later, they were selected to represent the country and again achieved a podium finish. With multiple world and Olympic medals, Nikki is now recognized as one of the most successful Paralympic sailors of all time. Retirement from a professional sports career prevent, presents varied and exciting challenges for all athletes. 
With a degree background gained at the University of Salford, Nicky has begun the journey to achieving a further goal in his life, that of starting his own business. He accepted a graduate training scheme offer from the renowned firm of PKF Francis Clark, and is very much looking forward to applying the skills and attributes learned during his degree in this field. Professional athletes are highly skilled, not just their physical and technical endeavors, but also their ability to respond and adapt to a myriad of challenges thrown their way. In the area of business and accountancy, one such area is that of risk management. Sailing is a potentially risky sport, and the ability to both quantify and qualify risk in such a dynamic setting will serve Nicky well in his future career. I do ask Nicky to be mindful of his self-reported most expensive sailing accident, which happened to him and Christian when younger. Deciding to venture into open water when it was, I quote, ridiculously windy, and with no one else venturing out, may have been a foretaste of how to manage risk effectively. A repair cost of approximately 187 pounds per second may not truly represent value for money for parents and coaches and athletes alike. Though I'm sure the lessons learned from that will serve him well in his new and exciting career. In conferring this award to Nicky, the university recognizes both his outstanding sporting achievements and his ability to inspire the next generation of British sailors. Chancellor, I present for the degree of Doctor of Science, Honoris Causa, Nicky Burrell. By virtue of the authority vested within me, I now award to you, Nikki Burrell, the degree of Doctor of Science, Honoris Causa. Congratulations. Congratulations, Thank you. Nikki. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was some introduction. Uh, <laughs> that's got me a little bit nervous now, more nervous than in most of my sailing races. Um, firstly, I'd like to say thank you to Salford University for this incredible honour. It has brought back so many good memories being here as I was sat where you are today 10 years ago. It is a privilege to be up here in, to receive this award in front of all my friends and family and all of you people here today. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a former student at Salford, having studied business and management here from 20, 2005 to 2007. Uh, at this university, not only did I gain a 2-1 uh, graduate qualification, I also gained many life skills which I've used in my future career. After leaving Salford with my degree in the summer of 2007, I joined the British sailing team where, I, where we won five world titles and two Paralympic bronze medals, one in London and one in Rio. Um, unfortunately, we finished fifth in China, but we try not to think about that too much. <laughs> M my sailing career came to an end a few months ago, and this is where the degree from Salford has really kicked in, where a lot of my peers have struggled to get jobs and find um, a new path in life, my 2-1 degree from Salford has, has held me in good stead, resulting in me being offered various jobs in a few different careers. I have, rightly or wrongly, decided to take an ACA graduate job at Francis Clark, and I'm now trying to become good as, a, as an accountant. That is harder than it sounds. <laughs> Throughout my 10 years at the British Sailing Team, I got many accolades and many awards and many medals. But this is one of the highlights, and I am really honored to be stood here today to accept my award. Finally, I would like to say congratulations to all of you guys, and well done on all your endeavors over the last few years. Good luck in your futures, and I hope you have a successful career. But more importantly, enjoy your party tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, 
we will now commence the presentation of the postgraduate awards. Each student will be presented individually for their award, and please do show your appreciation and encouragement to them. I would like to invite Kay Hack, Dean of the School of Health Sciences, to present the awards. Chancellor, on behalf of the School of Health Sciences, I present for the award of Doctor of Philosophy for a work entitled The Role of Foot Posture and Motion on External Knee Adduction Moment, Implications for the Effectiveness of Lateral Wedge Insoles, Youssef Mohamed Shanib. I'd like to invite Mr. Brian Bogue, Associate Dean of the School of Nursing, Midwifery, Social Work, Social Sciences, to present the awards for that study. Chancellor, on behalf of the School of Nursing, Midwifery, Social Work and Social Sciences, I present to you for the award of Doctor of Philosophy for the study, The Implications of Nursing Degree Education for Future Workforce Planning in Saudi Arabia, a case study Noura Al-Manandi. <laughs> For this study, a uniform, not a uniform, an, eth an ethnography of police clothing performance Gender and Subculture in Neighbourhood Policing, Camilla Rebecca de Camargo. <laughs> For this study, The Travelling Gamer, an ethnography of video game events, Ying Ying Law. <laughs> For the study mapping the review of ethics and research, the work of the National Health Service Research Ethics Committees in England, Julie Winifred Morton. For the award of professional doctorate for the study of the identification of child neglect in social work practice, Mohammed Nabil Chowdhury. <clears throat> for this study uh, to investigate whether speed and road conditions have an effect on the physiological stability of sick and preterm babies undergoing inter-hospital transfer by ambulance, Vivienne Hall. On behalf of the School of Health Sciences, I present for the award of Master of Science Advanced Physiotherapy, Faid Yahia Al Matif. <laughs> Arije Alfa Wazan. Timsey Hank Mehta. <clears throat> Fayez Ibrahim M. Nam Nakwani. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Rasban Konstantin Ruman. Jed Ni Lai Si. For the Master of Science Advancing Physiotherapy, Jane Caroline Cowley. For the Master of Science Sports Injury Rehabilitation, Megan Foster. Paul Morgan. Thomas Ryan. <laughs> Chloe Alexandra Witz. <laughs> For the Master of Science Strength and Conditioning, Luke Hawhey. Luke Smith. <laughs> Andrew Tomlinson. For the award of Master of Arts Professional Studies in Adult Care, Specialist Award in Social Work Post Qualifying, Caroline Victoria Williams. <clears throat> For the award of Master of Arts Social Work, Fatima Onoue Ajay Tewayo. Teresa Nataeze Chadenga. <laughs> Beauty Dazokwakwa. <laughs> William Burlace Golden. Nafisa Hussein. <laughs> Kerry Jacks. <laughs> Kerry Keats. <laughs> Anika Khan. Lorraine Emma Knight. <clears throat> Joanna Laskowaska. <clears throat> Sitra Mahmood. Tracy Joanna McCarney. <clears throat> Anel Indluva. <clears throat> Promise Enlubi. Alan Christian Nakuriza Ziza. Bolade <laughs> Oliem Obadar. <laughs> Olakemi Margaret Ogum Bendro.
Olamid Yunus Osunuga. Eleanor Palfreyman. Veronica Shoniwa. Isabel Thornton. Emma Waterhouse. For the degree of Master of Science, Advanced Practice, Health and Social Care, Catherine Rachel Bentley. <laughs> Anne-Marie Carlin. <laughs> Yvonne Chadwick. Jonathan Elliott. Vicky Gibbons. Catherine Good. Helen Elizabeth Goodwin. Anna Jones. <laughs> Joanne MacDonald. <laughs> Lucy McJanet. <laughs> Melanie Mellor. <laughs> Helen Catherine Metcalf <laughs> Stacy Minnelli. Sarah Nyland. Jordana Pemberton. Andrea Louise Roberts. Julie Ribery. Seema Jaiju Simon. Lisa Travers. Sandra White. For the degree of Master of Science, Advanced Practice, Neonates, Natalie Jane Anders. <laughs> Rebecca Kate Barber. <laughs> Shabnam Ganchi. Lois Gemma Greenhalgh. <laughs> Ruxana Patel. <laughs> Gemma Riley. <laughs> Lee.
Lynn Watson. For the degree of Master of Science, Clinical Science, Cardiac, Critical Care, Vascular, Respiratory and Sleep Sciences, specializing in critical care, Rashid Ali. <laughs> Laura Claire Byrne. <laughs> Rachel Heather Williams. For the degree of Master of Science, Clinical Science, Cardiac, Critical Care, Vascular, Respiratory and Sleep Sciences, specializing in vascular, Kate Houghton. <clears throat> Jody Weston. For the degree of Master of Science, Counselling in Psychotherapy, Professional Training, Alaric Boot. <laughs> Emma Cayley Strother. For the award of postgraduate diploma, Leadership and Management for Healthcare Practice, Karen Hyam Deacon. <laughs> For the, the award of postgraduate diploma, Social Work Step Up, Elizabeth Arundel. Daniel John Barber. <laughs> Lana Bell. <laughs> Chelsea Blundell. <laughs> Richard Botton. Kate Cassidy. <clears throat> Lauren Cockburn. <clears throat> Sean Cornfoot. <clears throat> Brianne Counser. <laughs> James Cox. <laughs> Victoria Faxon. <laughs> Hannah Christine Hampson. <laughs> Lewis Hansen. Tracy Hewitson. Sarah Louise Holyrood. Amy Jenkinson. Adam Lawler. Emma Lowe. Leonie Mackay. Beverly Meadowcroft. Amber Merriman. Cara Mullen.
Sean Mullen. Sarah Norris. Kay Parry. Yvette Patel. Rowena Payot. Janet Rich. <laughs> Kelly Robinson Walton. <laughs> Martin Sanderson. <laughs> Naomi Sanderson. <laughs> Hannah Spate. Gary Storr. <laughs> Jennifer Thomas. Leanne Tiller. Sarah Jane Urerti. Joanne Wagstaff. Mark Willoughby. Nadine Willis. Shabia Yusuf. For the award of Postgraduate Diploma Welfare Services, Jawed Shah. <laughs> now present the Undergraduate Award. Undergraduate students will be presented in groups of three. In order for each of the students' names to be clearly heard by the audience, I would be grateful if your applause, whooping, and other celebrations could take place after the final name of each group of three is announced. I would like to invite Dr. Paul Wilson, Associate Dean, School of Health Sciences, to present the award. Chancellor, on behalf of the School of Health Sciences, I'd like to present for the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Alice Storey. For the award Bachelor of Science with Honours Exercise, Nutrition and Health, Mohammed Wazim Akmal, Jessica Alderson, Corinne Bolland. <laughs> Renee Ashley Chapman, Shannon Marie Mary Duffy, Sean Farrell. Neil Harris, Kieran Matthew Hill, Lauren Ann Jackson. <laughs> Edward Neil Ray George Knightsbridge, Amma La, Robert Loser Evans. Joseph McManus, Hannah McMorrow, Joe Robert Murphy. <laughs> Rebecca Murray, Imogen Paul, Lucy Stinger.
Lawrence Harry Sturk, Jamie Wetton. For the award, Bachelor of Science with Honours Physiotherapy, Eric Anderson, Jordan Arnfield, Sophie Ellen Banks. <laughs> Charlie Barnett, Megan Boyd, Justin Scott Brennan. Hannah Brealey, Paul Keith Buckland, Tom Bull. <laughs> Maya Chadwick, Andrew Clark, Louise Coase. Sarah Haley Collins, Sophie Cummins, Alexandra Dunn. <laughs> Robert James Donegan, Lydia Louise Durkin, Joseph Brian Edwards. Andrew Michael Ellis, Hazel Fleming, Robert Gordon Fraser. <laughs> Dawn Louise Freilinger, Claire George, Sindra Delheim Haviland. Elliot Thomas Halewood, Samuel Holt, Julia Michelle Hopwood Turner. <laughs> Robert William Hulse, Charles Jones, Matthew Jones. Ruth Jones, Stephen Robert Jordan, Rachel Kay. <laughs> Rachel Kenny, Edwina King, Wei Yan Lao. Logan, Chloe, Sandra, Laurie, Alexandra Lee, Megan Lloyd. <laughs> Sei Ying Lu, Megan Agnes Matteson, Alison McCann. Lindsay Murray, Sean Myler, Grace Margaret Newby. <laughs> Alexander Michael Thomas O'Reilly, Jason Oswell, Paul Preston. Tracy Louise Rackley, Jessica Scothern, Lucy Smith. <laughs> Helen Stout, Sean Tilston, Ashley James Barnes. Sophie May Wallet, Rebecca Whittle, Jessica Wilcock.
Anna Rachel Williams, Wen Ting Wong, Simon Zilman. And for the award, Bachelor of Science with Honours Sports Rehabilitation, Kauza Ahmed, Angel Angelov, Thomas Atkinson. <laughs> Sophie Jane Comer, Stephen William Cornforth, Zara Galichan. Jack Gleave, Oliver Kennedy, Tatiana Lipinski. <laughs> Lewis Macmillan, Liam Ellis Maguire, Gemma Marie Mooney. Kyle Newton, Jessica Rose Nicholson, Jake North. Charlotte Park, Mary Priestner, Matthew Robinson. Mohammed Bilal Sheikh. Amy Stiles, Hannah Symes. Cameron James Taylor, Martin Worley, Reese Whiteman. And for the award, Bachelor of Science with Honours, Sports Science, Human Performance, Mohammed Ahmed, Aaron John Ashley, Crystal Louise Barker. <laughs> Rachel Birchall, Matthew Christopher Carlisle, Montana Rosemary Creswell. Hussein Fawaz, Cara Fields, Megan Gouldson. <laughs> Abigail Francis Harrison, Saul Henderson, Nikki Elizabeth Henry. <laughs> Mohammed Hassan Hussein, Jake Parkinson, Luke Parkinson. <clears throat> Elliot Pratt, Thomas William Price, Ashley Sadhu. <clears throat> Mohammed Masoom Sharaz, Bradley Harry Sutcliffe, Chloe Willoughby. <laughs> For the award Bachelor of Science with Honours Sports Science Performance Analysis, Kieran Hughes, Benjamin Smith, Sophie Lee Wainwright. For the award Bachelor of Science with Honours Sports Science Strength and Conditioning, Andrew Joseph Badby, Adam Barker, Matthew Cuthbert. <laughs> Michael Brian Philip Finlay, David Martindale, Adam McColgan. Gary Moore, 
Jack Murphy, Benjamin Robinson. Nicole Schillerbeer, Jack Thomas Taylor, Kieran Thomas Toy. Associate Dean, School of Nursing, Midwifery, Social Work and Social Sciences to present the awards for that school. Councillor, on behalf of the School of Nursing, Midwifery, Social Work and Social Sciences, it gives me great pleasure to present the undergraduate awards. The Award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Professional Studies in Childcare, Specialist Award in Social Work, Post Qualifying, Karen Michelle Sharp. The Award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Social Work, Janice Gilbert, Georgina Maguire. The Award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Social Work Studies, Ghazala Raja Khan, Charity Kigbu, Siobhan Fiona Shannon. Chantel Asage Melise Silva Paris, Sarah Jade Wood. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Counselling and Psychotherapy Professional Practice, Mazia Begum, Charlene Burry, Dina Clark. <laughs> Farah Farouk, Katie April Greaves, Daniel Misha Hensman. Sonia Mingos, Sarah Louise Mullen, Claire Jane Priest. Jane Rogers, Amy Simpson, Natasha Jane Skelhorn. Nicola Smith, Janet Spike, Joanne Elizabeth Stevenson. <laughs> Alison Thompson, Katie Ward.
the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Counselling and Psychotherapy Theoretical Studies, Carla Barlow, Sarah Mortimer, Robin Howell. Aisha Sattar. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Enhancing Professional Healthcare Practice, Joyce Banda, Danny I. Mercy, Chipper Amandu, Claire Marie Cox. Carly Griffiths, Kerry Piers, Anna Catherine Smith. <laughs> Natasha Tushime. The award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Enhancing Professional Healthcare Practice Clinical, Helen Jane Clegg, Florence Musonda. <laughs> the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Healthcare, Virginia Dilwayel, Rachel Jane Forster, Helen Louise Morgan. Jacqueline Ryan, Jennifer Ann Weston. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Integrated Practice in Learning Disabilities, Nursing and Social Work, Kalade Adeyemi Jolayemi, Kuchelena Rebecca Kuanga. For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Sociology, Rochelle Burgess, Zach Campbell, Alexander Cannon. Carola Contimenza, Chloe Douglas, Sophie Greener. <laughs> Rowia Ageg, Lindsay Houston, Keita Elizabeth Holton. Helen Victoria Howard, Megan Johnson, Salma Khan. <laughs> Giles Little, Aviola Mayodele, and Louise Maynell. Mary Oliteo, Emmett Lee Shedden, Amina Sophie Udin. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And for the award of Bachelor of Science Integrated Practice in Learning Disabilities, Nursing and Social Work, Jennifer Eileen Isaac. No. And for the award of Master of Arts Social Work, Diana Nicomo. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the presentation of awards. Before I invite the Chancellor to close the ceremony, I would like to inform you that we'll be taking a group photograph of all of our new graduates outside the theatre on the piazza. Therefore, please can I ask all guests to remain in the theatre until the graduates have left their seats. And graduates, please can you follow the academic procession straight out of the theatre to, to the piazza for the photograph. Thank you. I would now like to invite the Chancellor, Professor Jackie Kay, to close the ceremony. Yay, thank you. Thank you so, so very much, everybody. Congratulations once again to each and every one of you. It was fantastic watching you there, dressed up in all your fineries, across the stage in exactly the manner that you chose. And it's just a, a huge joy and excitement to be here today and to share with you and your family's pride and joy. It's fantastic to see these proud, shining faces. And I hope today has been memorable and special for you and will continue to be memorable and special, perhaps getting less memorable as the day wears on. <laughs> <laughs> and the drink rolls in, perhaps, depending. <clears throat> anyway, many, many, many congratulations. It's been such a, a moving ceremony, um, just, just, just quite a, a astonishing always to be, to be part of. You are now graduates of the University of Salford. <laughs> I think this is, this is definitely the best round of applause I've had at any of the graduation <laughs> ceremonies. <laughs> that was fantastic. Um, we were talking about this, this group photograph um, a, a couple of years ago, the year before last, I did the group photograph and the students all were asked to throw their hats and I'd taken mine off and somebody threw their hat and it hit me. <laughs> but really, really hard. It felled me to the ground. Um, so, and, and like a massive lump in my head, that was my first graduation ceremony. I thought, welcome to Salford. Brilliant, brilliant. But, but I thought, what a silly death that would have been, you know? A mortal injury with a mortar board. It's just, it's <laughs> so I'm, I'm keeping, or I'm trying to keep my hat on. I realize that must be where the expression came from. <laughs> keeping, keeping the hat on. Anyway, I, I hope you enjoy the, the group photographs and enjoy the rest of your day. Just before we close the ceremony, or before I close the ceremony, officially, I'd like to take a moment to thank the, the wonderful band who's been playing for us all day. Thank you, band. Thank you. And I'd like to take a moment to thank the staff at the Lowry Theatre here, all the people that you see in red that have been going around making this ceremony as smooth and as wonderful as possible. Thank you, staff at the Lowry. And I would like to invite, uh, thank, and with a huge thank you to our team, led by Sahelia Worth and uh, the rest of the staff who have been here, making sure that we get our robes, making sure that you all come up in time. A huge thank you to them. <laughs> a 
I could stand here and quite happily talk to you for quite a long time, but it's hot and we won't do graduation lockdown. Can you imagine that? Did you hear about that ceremony when nobody got out? <laughs> no, we won't be doing that. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a wonderful, wonderful year. Good luck with life and with the chances that you get in life. Grab every opportunity that you can with both hands. Seize opportunities. Dare to be different. Dare to be inspired by yourself and by those around you. And dare to put your step, first step forward all of the time and to go forth from this moment on with as positive an attitude as you possibly can. Good luck to each and every one of you and thank you all to the family and friends and congratulations again to our honorary graduate Nicky Burrell and to his family. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I can now declare this ceremony closed. <laughs> Thank you.